Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is one of those videos that doesn't come along very often. We normally go on a live stream and, and do some of these really good races like the Human Comedy and we never actually put them to video anymore. We used to, back in the day, put these all to video and uh, everybody could get to see them. Well, I've been doing them for live stream for a select audience, for those people that like to watch one live stream and they sometimes drive along with us and go and try and beat the records at the same time. They take the same setup. But as the case has been over the last couple of months, the live stream's been the place to do it. It's been the best place to do it. Well, with things being the way they are, I thought I'd edit the live stream. We'd make it into an hour video and uh, give it a chance for getting on the channel. So whilst the audio isn't particularly high on this one because I've had to download the footage from Twitch, um, let's see how it goes. I know you'll give me a feedback if it's no good. So uh, let's get stuck in and I'll show you what's what. Good evening everybody and welcome to the channel, Saturday night and we're here to do a couple of bits that we probably should have done a little while ago. As you can see we're at Quark Kyoto, we're in the human comedy. Uh, the five of my friends have done this one. This is an hour long race, attempting to get, what does it say on there? 24 laps will get us on the friends list. And... 24 laps will get us to the top of the friends lift. Lee has done tremendously well there to be second. And looking at that, this is a cappuccino event. So we've got the cappuccino out again. And we are going to go and give it a hurl, give it a whirl. Sports tyres instead of racing this time. The it is exactly the same setup as last time. We've just changed the tyres. So for assist settings, I have some of that. ABS default. We're going to put counter steer on. And I think this needs ASM, but we're going to find out. And I also think we do this for the fuel map scenario. So 24 laps. I think we need to change twice. So we're going to end up doing. We need to go 25 laps. We're going to go 8, 8, 8, and then the one extra. Good evening, Lee. Um, I just can't remember how I did this last time. I think this is a fuel map 3 job to try and get the fuel out of it. Biggest difference between here and Deep Forest is the PP down from 640 or whatever it was. We're down to 550 in this one. So I'm just going to do a few experimental laps and see where it takes us. See what fuel map is, see how steady the car is what we think about lap times and we'll try and do what we can do so yeah we've got a few hours to get this one done and uh, we'll return to arm trials tomorrow so let's let's give it a whirl and see where it goes now if i remember correctly we have the big issue of being like 11 seconds from the start or is it seven seconds it's seven seconds and I've braked way too late. Always good to find this out. I'm looking for settings. This one. Everything else should be right. Brake balance is where it needs to be. I need to make this so it's drivable. And we have a shorter fuel stop as possible. <laughs> this one's going to be fun, isn't it? Evening, Demo. I hope I said hello, Azza, at the start. Good evening, Azza. Welcome. I didn't see you tucked away at the top. Sorry, amigo. Now, it's been a while since I've done this one. And I didn't do it live on the stream or on the channel or anything last time. This one I did recorded. I did this on the QT on my own. And this one I did get number one straight off the bat. And it was 24 laps I did last. So, so those guys that have got the 24 laps are Bob on. Looking at this, this is a no fuel jobby. 
So we need to do effectively eight laps in 20 minutes and pit for those tyres. The AI will be no prisoners. This is where I pursued the 555 for the very first time. Try and get the back end of the car really settled down on these low tyres. But I would have never used the uh, I'd have never used the high turbo. And my my stream has gone for a burn. What's gone on there? I'm looking at the data transfer and it's fine. It's not telling me it's a failure. Stream definitely has gone. Boop. We're into second place right now. We're pushing Mr. Solis. We should be first place by by the start finish. And as you can see there, fuel is absolutely excessive. So we can peg that back a little bit, have a little bit more. 20 minutes divided by 8. 2.4 minutes a lap. That's 2.25s. So this is a slow lap, but it's 7... This has 7 seconds extra on it, doesn't it? The 2.25s... It's a very, very slow lap, we need to be faster. And we've got two fuel stops to consider. Good evening, Wilkie, welcome. dive straight into this today, there's no point waiting. If we're going to give it a good old shot, we're going to give it a whirl. Got the difficult bit out of the way that was getting past the AI to start with. The pit stops here are genuinely really quick because you're just going to go in and change tyres map 3 now this set of right front tyres are going to scream at us This has always been a tricky one because of the tyre compound. I remember many a time spinning out up this hill. I believe we used ASM as well last time. To really give the car some stability. When the tyres really get down at the other end, that's when we'll be in trouble. Hey Jimbo, you've done the Nurburg and the manufacturers, well done, congratulations, place third, superb, well done. See how this grabs you, 233 is a bit rubbish. Probably five or six seconds slower than I need to be. We're just opening up, we'll just get there. You'll might to go to two, I think. To try and a bit more in this car. I could always look back through the video, couldn't I? 
be what the times were. I also don't remember whether that was a a left inside hook on the wheel corner. Had fourth place, two seconds behind me for two laps pressing. And you done well to resist the pressure. It was Nurburgring, wasn't it? The stream's just come back. Just one sec. That. That stream is now so far back, it's untrue. How did that lag for so long? I don't know. Not lagged on... Uh, lagging again. Come on, load up. Controller and your handset, oh my. Something wrong with the YouTube feed tonight to my machine and it's right next to me. Oh, get over the grass then, why not? Your map too is obviously too much for this thing. We're very shaky, we're very all over the place. Hey Dorian, welcome. Lakes, you've finished already, or is it? Uh, you're off weekends, aren't you? Yes. I forget it's Saturday. I haven't had the week off, it's just all been all days of the week. All days are off. No work today. No, Saturday. start accepting messenger pop-ups on my PC, that's interesting. balance all the way to the front. I wonder if that's a mistake. Oh, front end locks up. Got a break earlier there, haven't I? Ten minutes. We're almost at the end of lap four. I think we've got to do sub-30s. Sub-230s. That would make sense. At the moment, we're not quick enough, so. So currently, we're on for 23 laps. I find a way of getting that lap time down. I don't know whether that's going to be pace to the corners, speed, or whether it's pace through the corners. We've got 0.2 in the fuel.
maths is quite easy, I think, Lee. It's it's um It's eight laps in twenty minutes, that's two minutes thirty seconds, minus two pit stops, minus the seven seconds at the start of the lap, so two pit stops are gonna be twenty-four seconds apiece, forty-eight seconds. I think the pit stops might be twelve seconds to be honest. I think it's really quick. I think the lap time's two twenty-five I need. Which is like might be less than that. Might be two twenty eights, can't remember. If we can do two twenty eights or two twenty fives with low fuel, then there's a chance here that that we can recover the time as we go on. We'll hook to front tail, try to. Need to break a bit earlier here. The 20, 23 laps into. We only have to. Can't get this thing to stop. By the way, the maths I'm doing for 2 minutes 30. Is 24 completed laps, not 23. So 25, I think the aim what I'm going for. 25 would be really nice, but I think it's going to be 24. I need somebody else to confirm the maths because I'm doing driving brain widowmaker maths and it's my head is kind of mashed with it already. 24 laps into 60 minutes is 2 minutes 30 per lap, I believe. Two and a half minutes. So at the minute you have to do 23 laps and roll the front wheels over the line to get to the 24th. Depends. I think we do. If we do seven, eight, eight, that's twenty-three. Because it depends how these tyres are going to hold up. If the tyres will do twelve laps, that's absolutely fine, Amiga. Absolutely fine. Don't worry. If we can do it with a one stop, it cuts out some time, doesn't it? But the minute we've done a 232 fastest, I think it's going to be 24 where we're going to get to today. First hit. Yeah. So we're well inside for, for 24. We're well inside for 24. Because I'm just going to do... Well, it depends. I did 788 last time. Looking at where the tyres are. I don't know whether we're going to do 12 and do 1. Do 11... 11 and 12. I think the pit... I don't know whether the 12 or 24 seconds... I haven't, I haven't practised that. This is just the very first initial scoping sesh we, we just these are just off the bat cold turkey not actually done anything yet don't even have to say this is an official hit but That's it then, Dorian. That's it. That's exactly it. But I don't know. That's it. Get some data. I'm going to try and push these tyres as far as I can get. End of 11 laps would be great. Because then it's one stop.
sync. 35 seconds for hits. Yeah. Confirm that's 23 laps or the 24th lap. Not for 25, it's for 24, isn't it? Ten four, and we go. Confirmed. If I remember right, these tyres become exceedingly excited around about ten laps. And the seven seconds from the first lap, correct. Yes, we will. But I think I think these tyres will do eleven laps. I think we'll get away with the one stop. No fuel. Because we're about one minute, oh, no, we're well inside, lap eight, we need to get this to the end. I think we're about 30 seconds slow to do 24 laps complete. But I think that's the challenge. I think that's that will be that will be the shot here to get the twenty fifth lap. Big wheelie as we go off the top. Don't mind putting a bit of pressure on that left hand tire. It needs a bit. Right hand one is uh, screaming. You just wake up. Oh man, get that coffee. Hey Doug, welcome. I'm hoping this one doesn't have to be a grind, you know. But I appreciate it could be. And it will be a nice one. Same as a hundred spent, spot on. But then you got a fuel stop to consider if you can do twelve laps on a set of tyres. Hey Jimbo. Yeah, I, I realised that there was really simple maths in it. It's four laps every ten minutes. We're about a minute shy of that after eight laps. Now we could go faster and take fuel. 
We could go fuel map one and take the fuel. But I don't know how much quicker that will make us. equal the record on 24 at least. Oh, hello front tyres. Oh, hello back tyres. Somebody buy the tyres a coffee, will you? The blooming need waking up. Or well, they've just woken up. Right side ones are looking dodgy. Right, we're catching up on the uh, on the back markers. Mr. Solis has gone for tyres on lap nine. Those Mr. Sus Willow. Kind of guessing higher life is going to be the the problem. But if we're going to do the 25 laps, we need to push. Fuel is actually good, I think. We're probably a little inside on the fuel as well. Because we only have to do to the end of lap 11. We've got two laps to do this one and one more. Before the 30 minutes is up. We could be alright on the 30. We won't beat Lee with 24. Because Lee's got there first. The challenge is the 25. We need to get the lap time down. Oh dear. I also don't know whether this one will suit the beat either. Might be better on the tyres the beat because the beat is used to running this on the K Cup. You run the K Cup on these tyres, but you do it with the low turbo, really save the fuel. But you go a lot slower, I think. But we do have much more of a PP allowance here, so the beat could be just as equally good here because of the tyre situation. Our our beat setup is more in tune for the mediums and the softs. Sorry, mediums and the hards, I think, is the option here. You can't use the softs. And the hards just ain't going to cut it. So we hit 235 last time. We've hit a couple of 35s as well, haven't we? But I think we're all right where we are because we're not going to take Again, just on the 235 but we've had a couple of real nice laps I 
the only thing that really threatens us doing this is tangling with the AI like that. Having a savage spin out. We've got damage, so just have to worry about that a little bit. But I reckon anybody that's got this opportunity and they can handle the car quite well, get used to it, everybody can have a shot at 24 laps. This isn't a major hidden talent, it's just the ability to lap consistently for an hour. You've got to be one of the true, it's not as tricky as Alsace. Because people have really put the effort on an Alsace, but Kyoto has been really overlooked. It's a dark horse of the race. It's a big long track, it's really smooth. You've got nothing else to do this Saturday night. Get in there, get on the GT. Get your cappuccino that you bought last week in the, uh, in the shop. Get it fired up, get it out there. Let's have put some laps in. Let's get some names up on the board. Alsace here. Yeah. Alsace. You've been giving it a whirl then, Lee. We're going to have to talk setups for that because I've got the one from where I did last time. It's just getting the damn thing to turn and be able to uh, compete with the AI. Once you get away from the AI initially, it takes a little while to get away. If I remember correctly. You do a little bit of chasing of that Mercedes, will we? 11 laps, tyres are good. 31.33 We're going to be a minute over but we're going to have done 12 laps We only have to do 11 laps when we get back I'm taking this lap now because this one drives okay It's a bit of a flower isn't it it's, uh, it's got some really big sweeper corners But those bank corners are really awkward And after the bank corner that tight right hander is Almost a three quarter hairpin is a little bit of a swine to get your head round. Then you've got ooh, altitude change as you go up to effectively over the crest of the hill to get back to the start finish line. That's a, a swine. She wants to go, she's having that 12th lap is a real swine. Alright there, no penalties yet. This will be a slow lap, but we're going to pit. No major calamities. Yeah, it depends. There's, there's a few ways you can approach the race though, isn't there? So, if you want to go no stop and miss out the penalty, miss out the pit, you can you can actually run with the AI for quite a while, maybe three four laps at the start. This roller skate's done. This is a roller skate. It's uh, I think that's the best description for the cappuccino. Not sure what. Oh, is that the amount of time we've got for the pit stop? 32 something. Okay. We've got a calculator out. Go for the science calculator. Going in. On the 29. Almost. We're going to take mediums. We're not going to fuel. 11.9 laps we've got. So we might have to do a teeny bit of saving.
We're actually well in, aren't we? At 11.9. That's Bob on. We only have to do 11 laps now, don't we? The fuel is right. Because we're just going to finish off that lap, the last one. And we'll be inside 24. All we're doing is talking about getting to the line on time. It's Mr. Gallo. Really? Get the 25th lap, that's going to be a doozy. Get the lap time down, need to find a way to do that. I remembered it was fuel map 3 to get the 24 laps, so we would be crawling the 25th lap on fuel map 3. And we just have to uh, perfect. lap time and we need to get the average lap down to less than I would say it has to be a 228 Dorian will tell us what the pit stop takes in a moment we're going for a one stopper Fuel stops like 20 seconds. Yeah, 19.191. And that's with a rough lap maybe on the inbound. Because the tyres were 12 laps old. Wheelie. I probably need to go AJB Oh JB's here JB if you wouldn't mind leading the way and smacking that like button would you buddy if we can get everybody else to hit it at the same time that would be great I know a lot of people do that. Got a 12 second buffer. If we can build that up a bit with a couple of 33s. second down so this will be just underneath the 35 I think we can fly that apex a bit more than we're doing 
I also think we can probably run higher gears through corners. Thank you, JB. That Aston looked lovely earlier, mate. Sounded real good. I take it that was the end of the night and putting the cars away, was it? That buff is based on 235. So we did a 233 again. We can build that time. Fraga goes in. Two twenty nine one. Oh, there was me reading the chat. Two twenty nine one. That includes one pit stop. Wow. We have to take off approximately four to five seconds a lap. Have to have less accidents, incidents. Just taking it back, yeah. I've got to learn to let this roll. Let it do its thing. And then be able to mash the throttle earlier. YouTube feed has stopped again. Which is a swine. Oh, what's going on with that? I'm looking at the. Uh... Getting no errors on upload. Back. It's just refreshing. It seems okay. Happy days with that. Mine's on a pause screen from... Now it's going again. Mine's restarted at 53 minutes. Why is that? It's, it's gone backwards. The chat's not moved though, which is good. But my stream isn't showing to me where we're at. Really weird. Just think about that instead of thinking about the driving, which is cool. Just relax and drive was the instruction. in this uh, race. It won't rain. I don't know whether there's actually any variation in tyre temperature or track temperature or weather temperature. It does go a bit grey and dark, but I don't know whether that's just um, like visuals. can't really tell that the, the car has a changing grip or anything because the grip's almost dead anyway. I need to uh, 
instead of fuel at all. So in case anybody has the question, why I've reduced the fuel map? And why don't I just drive it on fuel map one and take the fuel? Car just feels that little bit more stable on fuel map three. Um, we did the whole of Deep Forest on fuel map six with a little bit of changes of fuel map, didn't we? But this one just seems to work well with a consistent fuel map and not having to refuel. It just makes the pit stop as short as possible. We could probably. We could probably go faster with burning more fuel and taking the fuel at the pit stop. Other drivers probably will. Twenty-eight eight plus nine second on first lap. So we've got to we've got to really take some some time out. But we're gonna we're gonna have to have a little bit of an experiment. And see what we can do. We'll get this one done first. We'll bang in what would be a fairly decent approach. It doesn't matter whether we go second, third, fourth, fifth, ninth, tenth in the top ten stars, does it? it doesn't matter at all. It's the first lap out. It's the first trial at this we're going to have, and we're pretty much on. Kind of hoping Dorian's going to tell us that we're punching in some good laps, and we're up to like a thirty-second buffer. That would be tremendous. But I don't know whether we are. For this race, yeah. We're going to go all the way. We're going to do it. We're going to put 24 in. Definitely. I bet he's given up time and I bet he's given up. Yeah, <laughs> I bet he has. Because we were just collecting data, weren't we? So he's like, yeah, okay, cool. Do that next lap, next race. You watch, he's actually going to come out with the number now. He's going to make one up. 18 second buff. We've lost the buffer. Or have we gained it from 12? We've gained it from 12, haven't we? What was the buffer last time? Can't remember. Remember, we must be up because we're, we're under the 2.30. Or we're over the 2.30, but for 23 laps he said 2.35. So yeah, we must be on there. 18 seconds is well enough. I can have a couple of spins here, can't I? 12.916 after pit stop. That's right, so we are up. That's cool. We are doing good. We're gaining time. I was hoping for 20 seconds. Or so. I'd like 30 seconds. Got 15 minutes of this left to go. Which means six laps left to run. We've got 6.7 on the fuel, so we're doing good. We'd have to go to 6.7. We'd have to go to fuel map 6 to run the car in at the end of the race. We've gone faster, so we've burnt more fuel. I bet it has JB dealing with the, the public and being a passenger on scary rides. Bet it has. Have a good one, JB. Enjoy your Sunday when you get to it, my friend. Does everybody know what JB does for a job? Everybody know? Lady JB. You don't know. So JB, he's probably been doing it for around about six months now. JB is a supercar driving instructor. I think is the best way to call it, or driving assessor. JB uh, works for a company called Everyman Racing. Close, it's, it's very similar guys, it's very similar to that kind of job, yeah. It has that kind of status. But, uh, 
he's one of those guys that sits in the driver's seat that does those red letter days now he doesn't drive JCBs supercars <laughs> if you get one of those red letter days that says six sports cars do 60 laps or whatever it is in your sports car and you go and you do an afternoon of sports car driving he's the guy that sits in the uh, passenger seat and gives a grading on your assessment of your driving it's a nice little job keeps him busy at weekends and solidly spending money and uh, he occasionally shares videos us, with us of uh, things he does That's a good one. Good one. He's got some lots of motor racing experience kind of stuff from his superbike days. Superbike is sports bike days. He's a big sports bike racer. Rider. He also likes to track day sports bikes. And uh, that's helped him massively with his driving. His oh, you're joking! We got punted by th by the evil that is Mitsubishi. What a swine! I think we've got a little bit of a buff there, haven't we? We have. We've only got four laps to do. Just started lap 20. Absolutely need to watch out for that when we're on uh, going for the 25th lap. Need to give them a bit of room, don't we? We've got to work out how to get this going that little bit quicker. Fifteen seconds still. That's fine. Can I break on that white line? I don't reckon I'm quite getting all the brake power that I need, am I? I'm only braking to... Can somebody watch my brakes, if they don't mind, and tell me how much brake I'm applying? Am I getting it all, or half, when I press the brakes? So, for example, when I go down to this corner here, am I going to get... Am I getting everything? Or am I holding off the brakes a bit? I think I was getting everything there. I looked down at that. 85%. One thing I haven't done since the um, 
I installed the new driver stuff is I haven't calibrated the wheel at all. That corner was a hundred. Because I could gain a bit more time at corners by braking a bit later. I think, 100%. I could brake a bit later and give it more brakes without locking it up, hopefully. I can have around about 30 second buffer, I think, when we get to the end. I'd like, I'd like. I wonder if we need to short shift, but I don't know how that will affect the tyres, and by that I mean low boost turbo, 16.133 buffer, hey, okay. happy days. It wouldn't stop there. That's got to be tyre wear that's uh, done that. I'm going to have to back off the brakes a little bit there. Brake a bit earlier. I'm going to recalibrate the brake pedal and do the uh, brake force adjustment as well. I think that's given me one massive advantage over the G29 when I had it, is the brake force adjustment. It's got a, a, a little function that allows you to adjust the amount of braking force your pedal has. So you could actually press to 100% but only get 50% brake power if you wanted to. Or you could, you could press the brake pedal all the way down and have... 100% at 50% if you wanted to so you don't have to press the pedal quite so far I don't know if this is going to be slow the point four down on the lap, that's cool This lap of the race. The old uh, Supra there didn't seem to want to uh, give up that line, did it? A bit uh, laggy. Come on, Mr. Tape, I. Tape, or whatever your name is. I want to know what my optimal lap is. 2.34.57. So we're, we're two seconds off. Well, 1.7, 1.6 seconds off what we would call the optimal target. Our current optimal achievement is 1.6, 1.7 seconds away from where we need to be. Mr. Solis, who was leading the race before the end of lap one. I 
Yeah, I wonder if a short shifter is going to give this a little bit more than this high rever. I don't think we're far away from doing it, you know. If we, if we can manage this quite nicely. Of a slower lap here, but we're on to the last lap now. 17, 18 seconds buffer, 16 seconds buffer. But we'll pang 24 in. We'll see where that puts us on the old uh, chart. 18163. Happy days. We'll lose all that in the final lap, but and then we'll have a mess around with turbos and mess around with power because we've got we're underneath the PP as well, and I've left the, I've left the tune where it was. We're going to see if a if a short shifter will will give us a little bit of advantage by that low boost turbo. Let's see if we can. I don't know if we get any more power out of it or whether we'll do any better, I don't know. Fuel load is really light. Just turning the aircon on. I've got the window open, it's freezing outside, but it's still hot in here. seconds to get to the line into lap 4 24 there we go one lap of fuel left I'll hopefully get us all the way round. We've got to do the whole lap. We obviously didn't catch Mr. Hazal for the second time. I think Mr. Hazal's in the Beetle. Beetle, engine swap Beetle. trying to lean on him, help me around the corner. Couldn't help. No major trap limit penalties though, is there? I haven't had a single penalty in this race. He's good. None like Deep Forest. We're going to complete this one first time out and have a decent time in because we didn't put any pressure on ourselves we weren't competing with 
Anything really. Wonder when the next game wipe will be. To make sure I keep all these tunes for the next time round. Mr. Deriucci. We can fly that apex, I'm sure. We can we can get some time there. See where that goes, eh? So we did it in an hour and two minutes, all oh, twenty-four laps of it. Fastest lap was ours at two thirty-two, two thirty-three. It seems to be every year or so. This is the third set of leaderboards we've been on. So we go second behind Lee, which is to be expected because Lee got his. His top 10 first, congratulations Lee. He got his top 24th lap first. But then we go top number one. And we don't ever know why that is the case. We don't know why I've got 24 laps to the top. Maybe mine's the fastest time to 24 laps. Maybe it's the fastest time to the finish of 24 laps. We don't know. So. Thank you very much for your assistance, folks. It is it is what it is. We are there. But, hey-ho. Sethanon's down there in 10th place. Gran Turismo. And Lee, Lee, Lee is there in 3rd. So, there we have it. I think it goes on the slowest time as it's comedy. They, again, there's something weird about that, isn't there? There's something weird about it because it's the human comedy or whatever it is. I don't know. It's... I've never been able to, to beat a time where I've already set that lap. 24 laps it takes my first time. I've never been able to improve it. I've never been able to change it. To improve on that, I've got to do 25. So 25 would be great, though, wouldn't it? And there you have it, number one in the top ten stars. That's it. that's that concluded. Ultimately, it is what it is. It's there to be had a go at. Now, if I can urge you folks to uh, to go out and have a go at this one, this has got to be one of the easiest chances that anybody's got at going to be number one in that top ten stars. I only say that from a point of view is it takes some to drive the car, but if you follow the guidance and you've watched the video, you can see it's just a question of getting 12 laps out of the car, a one-stop, and get it round. But all said, all say and done, thank you very much for joining us on the channel. Do give it a go, and we'll see you on the next one. All the best, take care. Goodbye for now, folks.